this is Lake Powell, the country's second largest reservoir, and it's drying up. Satellite images and CNN video from 2015 versus now shows just how much water has vanished. Miles of rock also tell the story. This ring we see on the canyon walls, they call it the bathtub ring. Uh, that's where the water is leached out the iron from the rock. And that's how high the water that's was. That's how high the water was at one point. You said just in September, the right. water was just four feet above this ledge that we're looking at here. And that's just September. Right. So the water is dropping quite dramatically, quite quickly. It has. As water levels decline, so does power production at the Glen Canyon Dam, which harnesses the force and volume of the Colorado River and Lake Powell to generate power for as many as 5.8 million homes and businesses in seven states. We're knocking on the door at Judgment Day, I think. Judgment Day being when we when we don't have any water to give anybody. Brian Hill runs the public power utility in Page, Arizona, where the federal dam is located. 40% of the town's power comes from the dam. Without it, they'll be forced to rely on dirtier energy sources like fossil fuels, which are seeing skyrocketing prices and customers will pay the price. We're probably looking at an additional 25 to 30% and their power cost. In a worst case scenario, the Interior Department projects the dam could stop producing power by January. The agency is now weighing an emergency action that would buy more time. In a letter to seven Western states, the agency calls for holding back the equivalent of 42.6 billion gallons of water in Lake Powell. That means deeper cuts to the amount of water people can use in Arizona, California, Colorado, Nevada, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. 114 billion gallons of water have already been held back this year. This, as new images show Lake Mead, the country's largest reservoir that gets its fill from Lake Powell, has dropped to such historically low levels that the lake's water intake valve is now exposed. So this is the, the power plant floor. Inside the dam, current water levels still produce power. These are the generators, and that spinning is a result of the water that's coming from the forebay, from the reservoir side. But if water levels drop just another 32 feet, the spinning stops. The climate crisis forcing federal and state governments to make tough choices and take drastic measures just to keep water and power flowing to the Southwest. So ladies and gentlemen, you know, this goes back to what I was telling you about how these folks never came up with a backup plan for a single thing. And we have seen this since the pandemic. And, you know, we got so many things going on and nothing with a real solution, nothing. And this just goes to show you these folks were concerned about being in charge, being the head honcho, being the one running everything. But you notice they never cared enough to come up with a backup plan. That should have been equally as important, but it wasn't. You got terrible power grid issues. You see the new water situation that's going on in Jackson, Mississippi which I was reading is 80% black. And now you got Lake Powell. If it drops another 32 feet, 5.8 million people are going to be without power. And there's no plans. There's nothing. Just let me be in charge. Let me be the one. Let me be the boss. Let me be the one telling people what to do. Okay, those things occurred. Now, disasters are happening left and right. So those folks are going to be out of luck if you live in any of those states that depend on hydropower from Lake Powell, you're really going to be screwed. You know, just a few days ago, they were talking about the California heat wave. You know, there's a heat wave going on on the West Coast. And they were talking about concerns 
for the power grid. Let's see how it's going to hold up. Let's see how it's going to hold up. And now we're looking at a tough winter, and I'm going to do a video on that. I did find out why they are saying this is going to be a very tough winter, and I'm going to do a video on that, going over that as well. And there is no reason why this could not have been fully explained in the media in America. See, they want to sit there and tell you about Donald Trump. Donald Trump ain't going to do nothing for your immediate situation. Donald Trump is not going to do anything if your power goes out in the dead of winter. You need to focus on the things that are going to impact you the most, but this is not what America does. So y'all, Lake Powell, which is the second largest reservoir, has been drying up for years now. But it's going a lot more rapidly than it ever did before. These people literally don't have much time. They don't have much time, y'all. This is going to happen in a short period of time where it drops 32 feet. So they're saying, it, you know, another 32 feet, all of the hydroelectricity production will come to a halt. Mm, mm, mm. So we know the mega drought not only is going strong, they said the mega drought is moving east. And to be honest with you, we had rain and everything this summer, but I can tell things are even drier here in the Northeast. It's drier. So y'all... This don't look good at all. If I have any subscribers in any of the states, um, so they're saying um, 5.8 million people from Arizona, California, Colorado, Nevada, New Mexico, and U Utah and Wyoming will be impacted once this thing drops another 32 feet. Wow, it is just not going to be enough rain. I don't believe enough rain is even coming in the winter months. I, I don't, I don't see it. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this situation. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.